Kotling named arguments. So, let us go for one sample code for the understanding. So, here you see we are having my function is user defined function with two arguments one is letter another one is num of type character and integer and having the default argument f and 123 respectively. So, now here when this my function has been called here with this value num is equal to 10 then f and f will be the value for letter and 10 will be the value for num and that will be used in the respective code. But if I write here num is equal to 10 and letter is equal to m then in the code num will be having the value 10 and letter will be having the value m and that will be accessed in the code. And look at here, here as a first parameter we define the letter as a second parameter we defined num. But while passing these arguments here we put num is equal to 10 earlier compared to letter is equal to m next. So, that is also allowed in Kotlin. So, let us have one practical demonstration to explain this very concept in a detailed way. So, here is the demonstration for you. Like in the previous program here also this my display message function is having one uh, input argument that is our message of the type of string with the default value that is world and num is of type integer with the default value that is our 8. So, from the main function my display message has been called. So, here we are passing message is equal to hello and num is equal to 5. So, let me execute the code here. So, message is equal to hello and num is equal to 5. So, as a result of that hello has got printed for 5 times. Here we have written here you can find that here we have uh, reversed the order. So, we wrote num is equal to 5 and message is equal to hello you can find that hello has got printed for 5 times. Here we have passed only num is equal to 5. So, as a result of that num will be having the value of 5 but as we did not pass any uh, value for this message which is of the type of string. So, world will be the default value that uh, in that case. So, world will get printed for 5 times in this case. So, in this way we have discussed that what is named arguments in our Kotlin. Thanks for watching this video.